clocks help us to manage time. A clock has a face, and two hands, which move around in a clockwise direction, during the day and night. The small hand moves slowly in relation to the big hand. The clock tells us both hours and minutes of the day using these hands. The day is divided into 12 equal parts, called hours. On the face of the clock, there is writing, equally spaced and read from 1 to 12, representing the hours. This tells us the hour of the day. The small hand moves between these numbers. When the small hand moves from 1 to 2 then 1 hour has lapsed, and so on. In one revolution of the small hand, 12 hours have lapsed. In each hour there are 60 minutes. The circle of the clock is divided into 60 equal parts called the minutes, shown in red. These are not normally shown on the clock, but we have showed them in our clock. You don't have to remember all of them. Just remember the minutes at the hour positions, 3, 6, 9. The big hand points to the minutes of the hour of the day we are in. There are 60 minutes in an hour. The big hand travels through one revolution in one hour. During this time the small hand slowly moved from one digit to the next, showing one hour as elapsed. When the big hand moves from position 12 to 3 position, then 15 minutes has lapsed, also called a quarter, because the big hand has moved a quarter of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from position 12 to the 6 position, then 30 minutes have lapsed also called a half, because the big hand has moved a half of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from position 12 to the 9 position then 45 minutes has lapsed, because the big hand has moved 3 quarters of a circle, as shown in red. When the big hand moves from say, position 12 and goes around once, and back to position 12, then 60 minutes has lapsed. During this time the small hour hand will have slowly moved from one digit to the next digit. For example, from 1 to 2. Next, in this video, we will look at reading the time on the clock face. In this lesson we will read, learn, and practice the time when the big hand is at the 6 position. So, let's get started. This clock is reading half past 1, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 1 and 2. Now you say, half past 1. This clock is reading half past 2, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 2 and 3. Now you say, half past 2. This clock is reading half past 3, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 3 and 4. Now you say, half past 3. This clock is reading half past 4, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 4 and 5. Now you say, half past 4. This clock is reading half past 5, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 5 and 6. Now you say, half past 5. This clock is reading half past 6, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 6 and 7. Now you say, half past 6. This clock is reading half past 7, because the big hand is pointing to 6 and the small hand is halfway between 7 and 8. 
Now you say, half past seven. This clock is reading half past eight, because the big hand is pointing to six and the small hand is halfway between eight and nine. Now you say, half past eight. This clock is reading half past nine, because the big hand is pointing to six and the small hand is halfway between nine and ten. Now you say, half past nine. This clock is reading half past ten, because the big hand is pointing to six and the small hand is halfway between ten and eleven. Now you say, half past ten. This clock is reading half past eleven, because the big hand is pointing to six and the small hand is halfway between eleven and twelve. Now you say, half past eleven. This clock is reading half past twelve, because the big hand is pointing to six and the small hand is halfway between twelve and one. Now you say, half past twelve. In this exercise, there are twelve questions, which are all of the same type. You will have 10 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. In each question, just shout out loudly the time you see on the clock face. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. What time is on this clock? 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 What time is on this clock?
What time is on this clock? We also can write time in numbers. For example the time on the clock shown on the right can be written as 3.30. We write the hour first, followed by the minutes. We write a colon between the hour and the minutes. Following slides show you how to write the 12 hours of the clock in number form. Learn them very carefully. Half past one. Half past two. Half past three. Half past four. Half past five. Half past six. Half past seven. Half past eight. Half past nine. Half past ten. Half past eleven. Half past twelve. In this exercise, there are twelve questions, which are all of the same type. You will have fifteen seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. In each question, exercise 2. What is the time in numbers? 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 What is the time in numbers?
What is the time in numbers? What is the time in numbers? What is the time in numbers? In this exercise, there are 30 questions, which are all of the same type. You will have 18 seconds to do 3 question. If you need more time, just pause the video. There are 3 clocks on each page. In each question, rewrite the time you see on the clocks in number form. Answer for this exercise can be found on our website. Write these clock times in numbers. 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 Write these clock times in numbers.
Write these clock times in numbers. Write these clock times in numbers. Write these clock times in numbers. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.